Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Blender tutorial today. I'm going to be starting a series on how to make a basic game in Blender. This is going to be basically the same as the other series except this one is going to be using Python. So this is going to be a great way to learn how to use um, Python with Blender. Um, it basically will make your games a lot more powerful, let you do a lot more stuff, um, and a lot more cool stuff. Uh, so you'll notice this is part zero. Uh, this is basically just going to be a uh, setup video. So I'm going to set up the UI of Blender. Uh, and we're going to set up our first little test Python script, a little hello world script that will print to the console. Okay, so to get started, we are going to switch from the default layout to the game logic layout. We are going to switch from Blender render to Blender game. And I like to pull this window over a little bit, but that's just a personal preference. Uh, so there's one more thing we're going to need to do, and that is go up here to Window and Toggle System Console. So this console is where we'll see every sort of debugging that uh, we'll have with our uh, Python scripts. Um, sometimes there will be a bunch of text here, but none of that stuff really matters to us. We want to see what will be printed out down here. Okay, so if we go back to Blender, you'll notice that if we use the game logic layout, we have this uh, text window over here. This will be where we write all of our Python scripts. So we can make a new script by just clicking on new, or we can open a script by clicking open. But I'm going to hit new, and you'll see now we've got a line number there, we've got a cursor there and we can type stuff as much as we want. Um, if you don't have the line numbers, I suggest turning them on. You can do that by just uh, scrolling over to the side until you see this little icon here and then click on it. I also turn on the text highlighting. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our first script. Um, first, we should give it a name. We can do that by clicking on this text field here and then we can just type a name. I'm just going to type test. And then we can actually write our script by just typing up here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make it easier to see in the video. And we're going to write a very basic Python script here. We're just going to write print parentheses quotation mark hello world quotation mark and close parentheses. And that is a script that will run. Um, it's not a very exciting script, but it will let us know that we have everything set up and running. Okay, so how do we run a Python script in the game engine then? Uh, we do that by using the Python controller. So if we select an object in our scene, it can be any object. We can add an always sensor, add a Python controller, and you'll notice that we've got a script option and a module option here. We're going to stick with the script option for now. Module will be used later. But if we click on our text field here, you can see we got a list of all of our scripts. Right now it just has test, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and use test. OK, so we can test our game by hitting P. And if we leave the game by hitting Escape, if we switch back to the console, You'll see we get this Blender Game Engine started, Hello World, and then Blender Game Engine finished. So Blender Game Engine started obviously means that we started the game engine. We entered play mode. Hello World? Well, that's what we told it to do. We told it to print Hello World, and so that's what it did. And then finally, Blender Game Engine finished. That means we stopped the game engine by hitting Escape. Okay, so we've got Python all set up. And now I want to go over some of the basics of um, just Python in general. So if you have experience with uh, object-oriented programming, you can skip to the next video where I will actually get to Blender-specific things. Um, but if you have no prior programming experience, you can go ahead and stick around, and we will start at square one. Okay, so the print function is pretty cool. 
It lets us uh, get information about what's going on in the script. Um, but where object-oriented programming really um, becomes a powerful thing, especially in Blender, is with variables. So you can think of a variable as like a box that holds uh, sheets of paper with information on them. So each a different box might hold different uh, types of information. So one might hold um, a bunch of text, another might hold a bunch of uh, numbers, and that's what variables do. So we can create a variable by just typing in a name. So for example here, I just typed in var, um, which is short for variable. And all I have to do to make a variable in Python is set it equal to something. So here I say var equals, and then um, if I want to use an integer or just a round number, I can just put in the number. So one or 10 or whatever. And this becomes useful later because then instead of using this number uh, later in the script, we can just use var. So let's go ahead and add in our print statement again. So let's do print open parentheses, and then instead of putting text in, we can just put in var and a close parentheses. So what this is going to do is this is actually going to print out the value of var. So we are basically putting the number 10 into a box, and then we're labeling that box uh, var. And then later in the script, in the print statement here, we're saying we want to print out whatever's inside the box labeled var. And the print statement's going to open that box up and it's going to see, oh, there's a 10 in there. And it will print that out. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's save our game. If we play the game, we can then leave the game immediately. And if we go to our system console, we'll see Blender Game Engine started. We see the number 10 and then we see Blender Game Engine finished. So you can see it printed out the value of var. Okay, that's kind of cool. So there are all kinds of variables that we can set. You can set a variable to um, any Python class uh, that you want. But there are four basic types that we're going to use the most. The first is an integer, which looks like this. It's just a uh, whole number. We then have uh, floating point numbers uh, which have a decimal in them. So you can see this one here, 3.14. We have strings, which you saw with the hello world. So that is a string variable. Uh, the string uses quotes around it. And then the last of the basic types is a Boolean. And the Boolean is just either true or false. Okay, so what are some of the basic things we can do with variables then? Well, we can do all of the basic math functions. Um, so for instance, let's say that we have x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 7. So in our print statement here then, we can do something as simple as x plus y. And let's just go ahead and make sure we save play and if we go to the system console you can see that it adds up to 10 and 3 plus 7 is 10. We can do subtraction so if we play the game leave go to the console we can see that we get uh, negative 4 and that is what you get whenever you subtract 7 from 3. We can do multiplication you can see that and we can even divide. All right, so in our next video, we're going to get the basic movement for our cube all done. We'll be able to move our cube around with the W, S, A, and D keys, and then we'll go on from there. But that's going to do it for today. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.